everyone Josh here so today we got a bit of a self-inflicted issue I believe on the CJAA so I bought this car with a turbo issue had multiple other issues at the same time so I put a I bought a whole entire used engine came with a turbo so I put the turbo on did a bunch of other stuff and then it also got tuned by MR tuning at the same time car's been flawless no check engine lights it's been great but then last week or two weeks ago when I switched the tune to TuneZilla or Malone, I've now got a flash and glow plug light and a check engine light. So we're gonna plug in with VCDS. We're gonna see what's going on because I wanna do a comparison between the MR tuning and the TuneZilla, but obviously the TuneZilla or Malone tune isn't happy right now. So I wanna make sure everything's 100% before I do the comparison. So a flash and glow plug does not mean you've got a glow plug issue. It can just mean you've got an emissions related issue. And that is going to be sensor one for exhaust temp bank one. So these CJAAs are gonna have four EGT sensors. They got one before the turbo. It's got two before the DPF and then one after the DPF. So depending on if you're stock or if you're running an off-road tune, you're only gonna have the one sensor and that's going to be this one here. So TuneZilla will not shut off this P0544. Um, it's kind of a good idea to know what your EGTs are and usually with modified cars like my ALH, you add an EGT gauge after the fact to make sure things don't get too hot. So obviously them are tuning, they tune safe enough that they think they don't need it. I believe, um, but the TuneZilla, they obviously want it there for monitoring just in case. So we're gonna see what it's reading, what the issue is and see if we can't fix it. Okay, so we're on VCDS group 99. So we've got temperature prior to the turbocharger at 930 degrees Celsius. Um, it should not be that hot at idle. Um, temperature prior to the particulate filter, temperature after the particulate filter, and then if we go up prior to the recatalytic recatalytic converter so you can compare all these temperatures uh, what works best is check them all when you are key off or engine off key on without it running and they should all be close to ambient temperature if it's been sitting long enough so with that reading 930 with the rest reading 294 uh, we got an issue there. Okay, so it's kind of funny. I just put the turbo up into the attic that came off that car originally. It's just one of those. So I gotta try and get that. I'm not quite tall enough. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm getting back down. But, so here's the turbos. So that's, which one is that? That was out of, not mine. This one was out of mine. And apparently I've already taken the EGT sensor out of it. So I've got a pile of spare parts um, in here. But the one we need is this guy. So it's the black end one. The other ones are orange and brown and orange. So like that in my pocket and try and get back down okay so with the cover off here we've got our o2 sensor or lambda sensor that's that big gray connector and we got this bundle of three so we got the black the brown and one of the two oranges uh the other orange one's down underneath so this one's going to be our bad one so i'm going to plug the spare one in and see what it reads hopefully it works okay so now if we come here i've already cleared the code it didn't come back, so we'll go done, go back, measuring blocks, go 099, enter. It's now reading zero degrees, which I don't know if it's, it's definitely colder than zero out, but that's uh, looking better. So we're gonna get this installed and we're gonna go for a test drive and see what it reads. All right, so we got the sensor here, so the nut so that's a 17 mil and as you can see it's kind of marred up from removing it um, if you don't have line wrenches um, grab your 17 mil wrench 
and if you get a little aggressive you can actually slip the box end over the plug here and then your box end is going to grip a lot better than opening these flats especially if you have cheaper wrenches so we're going to see how tight this one is first and then um, i might have to try and force it through okay so that is our sensor up there just below the downpipe so hopefully it cracks loose and then we can get that out it's kind of fished down and around and up and yeah not real fun all right so i got it kind of fished up plugged into the bunch of sensors over there so i didn't say anything really wrong with the old one obviously it failed inside so we're gonna get this cover back on get it off the jack and we're gonna go for a quick drive and see what it reads all right so we got the car running so it's minus 5.5 .5. Uh, the code did not come back up, so we can go to measuring blocks, 099 again. So 174, so it's not pegged at 930 anymore. So you can see it jumping up there, so I'll scrape the windows off and we're going to go for a car ride. Alright, so we'll see what the EGDs do here now. See what that does on a pole. So you can see it's pretty sensitive, it moves around pretty good. So if yours is stuck at 930, it's probably a bad sensor. All right, so we're back here now, so everything's good. Um, so I definitely felt like there was a bit of a limp motor. It's definitely quicker than when I originally put that tune on. So if you've got that P0544, I would definitely get it fixed. Um, the other thing I noticed was that hard pull, um, it hit 860 degrees Celsius. So that was, I think that's 1550 Fahrenheit which I think that's usually around the temperature you want to let off. At least that's what I was kind of doing with my ALH. Um, so it's definitely a good thing to have that monitoring there. So I assume they're going to cut fueling if it keeps getting hotter than that. Um, so definitely feels warm and fuzzy having that safety net there. But um, up next, I'm just waiting for dry roads so that we can actually do a com good comparison between the MR tuning and the tunes are less so stay tuned uh the next week or so i should be able to get that done so thanks for watching hope this helped